many of you I also own a Raspberry Pi. I think I'm one of the earliest owners and adopters of the Raspberry Pi. But I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle with the SD card. I struggle with um, the Wi-Fi. I struggle with the power supply. Things kept blowing up. And I also struggle with so many versions of the Raspberry Pi. So... <laughs> <laughs> so sometime middle of last year, Kickstarter launched a project called the Latte Tender. So this was a, a twist to the Raspberry style, Raspberry Pi style of SBCs. Yeah? This one's based on the Intel Atom chip. It's a quad core but running at a low 1.44 gigahertz. It's got um, two gigabytes of um, RAM inside. And the good thing is that it has its own built-in MMC RAM inside it. So when it came delivered to me, it was already preloaded with Windows. And I'm quite happy with that because I'm familiar with Windows. I struggle with Linux and all the different distributions and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you what I've done with this. All I've done is install, activated the Windows, went through a couple of cycles of updates from Microsoft. <laughs> That took nearly two days, yeah? Power down, next morning wake up, it says uh, Windows is preparing your uh, operating system or your desktop. And then it goes on and then I power down again and the next day it came on just nice. So now I'm going to log in and see whether this has all gone away. So hopefully this time Windows has sort of stabilized in all its updates and will run. Finally, so like on the website for Latte Panda, they promised that it's big enough to install Visual Studio. So that's what I went to do. I installed Visual Studio among a lot of other pro um, programs, right? I also installed things like the Admel Studio. The Arduino came pre-installed. Oh, I forgot to mention that um, because Windows style of computing, they don't have GPIOs much like uh, the ARM-based SBCs. Yeah. So what Latte Panda did was they tacked on an Arduino 80 Mega 32 onto it and exposed its pins very much like an Arduino. So built into this card is an Arduino also. But I didn't find it very useful just yet. So um, like I was saying, I, I installed whatever I could to test um, the capabilities, and I also installed um, Visual Studio. So Visual Studio works for me. Huh? Wow. So I'm kind of happy because I can relearn how to go about um, programming all over again. <laughs> so uh, let's... <laughs> yeah, it works. For, surprisingly, for a small machine like this, um, Visual Studio can install including all its help files, yeah? so programming comes, uh, learning programming is quite easy. So this is Visual Studio, it allows you to program in Visual Basic, which I used to know a long time ago, and C Sharp, something new to me. And um, there are many um, developers out there, so don't laugh at my attempts at programming. Yeah? So, um, you know, in the bus, I like to play Sudoku, yeah? And also inspired by my Prime Minister, who released his C++ source code. I attempted, I attempted the same thing in uh, Visual Basic. So I wrote my own simple Visual Basic Sudoku. Yeah? Unfortunately, I'm not as smart as my Prime Minister. <laughs> So, like Daniel says, right, this is just an ongoing project, never give up. So, uh, um, we'll just say start here. <laughs> Okay, so these are some of my reference files for the Sudoku matrix, right? So, um, 
let's say I it fills in the numbers. I, I say start. And because I'm, I'm learning programming, I, I do these buttons as step by step to test my functions that I write in eliminating, in the elimination process of Sudoku. So if I say eliminate and solve, it tries to go on solving. Nice. And this one is solved. I also realized. Sudoku isn't as straightforward as it seems, yeah. Because when I loaded in some of the um, some of the games from my mobile phone, the program doesn't solve it to completion. That is, so um, like Daniel said, don't give up, keep on trying. Uh, so I'll show you an example right now. So if I say start and then eliminate and solve, it stops there. Yeah, so um, obviously there are more tricks that PM knows that I don't just yet. Alright, so until then, if you have any questions, uh, you can ask later. Yeah, thanks very much.